Okay, we're all uh, strapped down and loaded up to go uh, harvest some uh, maple that I spied. I'm still trying to decide whether to just get an easy one by the driveway or go out back and get some bigger stuff. I'm leaning towards going out back. Whew, well, I guess I should have videotaped that, but this is one of them I decided to tackle. It's been down for a while. Here, let me switch things. The other day, what did it come off of? And then it doesn't have any needles. That's a huge maple. So it split off the side there and fell off. So <coughs> the previous fella didn't get it all. So I got these two big chunks and that big chunk. We're going to get it out to the snowmobile trail and think about uh, involving the snowmobile. Because I don't want to haul these buggers all the way back. Holy smokes. We're just going to ratchet strap this in and it's a little top heavy. We're going to see uh, if we can haul it out. <coughs> that was a big beast. There's still some wood to be had. I'm going to have to bring a shovel back to bury it. I just barely touched a, a rock underneath. I think it just got the rakers, not the teeth. I was careful. Well, we got her through the deep snow, tipped over about six times. It's a little top heavy. Whew. And we got her to the snowmobile trail. So there's a little loop here. I'm gonna see if I can tie this off somehow so that I can drag it behind the snowmobile without it going under the snowmobile. I may have to stop at one particular hill. We'll see. Well, this is one way to do it. <laughs> okay, we're back at the end of the trail, snowmobile trail. This should be able to get a little easier as we're making a little toboggan trail now. Let's see where we got to get up to. Way up there. Oh, I forgot to bring a shovel. I think it's going to take two more trips anyway. Oh. Too bad I couldn't get the machine down here, but... I'd just get it stuck and it would be hell to turn around. Oops. If I took a run at it, I might be able to get it, but I, I doubt it. The snow is deceiving. Yeah. It's hard on the knees. I'm gonna get a ton of wood out of this. Really wished I'd filmed me cutting a bit, but oh well. Now I think I'll just roll these downhill. There's some big pieces. Oh yeah, I gotta get a lever too. That one's not moving. I think I've got a crowbar in the other A-frame. I think it's just frozen. That's right, I got four pieces. These are gonna be huge. What's that? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I bet you'll get between a dozen and sorry, the uh, the tree that's cracked off of years ago, a couple years ago, according to the previous owner. It's creaking. I think I'm, uh, good Lord, honestly, I think that tree would heat me all winter. Pretty damn close. One friggin' tree. But honestly, it looks like it's getting ready to crack. Right there. There's a big crack. Interesting. I may have to tackle that in the spring. 
be ready to be seasoned by fall or close to it. Okay, focus. <laughs> well, just got to bring this back. I don't know if I'm going to keep the saw in there. I got another cord. Where is it? It's in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure something out. But yeah, I'll uh, see what's left there. I swear the rest of that tree's coming down. I can hear it creaking. It's got a big split in it right where the branch came out. Snapped off. Branch. Trunk. Okay. Time to hoof her back there. I earned my lunch today.